Hello everyone and how you all doing today? Right now I'm recording with my Sony A6700 and we are still in August here in London but it feels cold today yeah so that's why I'm wearing this jacket but yeah let's talk about the Sony A7C2 and the A7CR so both cameras are very good but let's focus first on the Sony A7C2 the one that I was planning on buying the Sony A7C2 is impressive, it is very very good and I am actually happy that I bought the Sony A6700 I'm also happy that I didn't wait for the Sony A7C2 Now let me explain Basically, the Sony A7C2 is the same as the Sony A7 IV but in a smaller body and with the AI chip Now I had the Sony A7 IV and I had to sell it because there was one big issue with the camera and that is that when I'm recording in 4K at 60 frames per second there's a 1.5 crop and I'm always recording in 4K at 60 frames per second and let's talk about another issue with a full frame camera so basically when I'm recording I don't like the background blur I don't mind if it's slightly blurred but I don't like it like when it's like completely blurred because it's just better when when you can see what's in the background so like right now I'm sitting here if I'm holding the camera like this you can probably see what's here you can see the, the flowers the, the leaves the bricks and all that and I like when it looks like that actually but when I'm using a full-frame camera the background is blurred I don't know I just don't like it I just don't see anything good with recording with a blurred background it's just pointless so yeah, I am actually very happy that I bought the Sony A6700 because at the moment, in my opinion, this is the perfect vlogging camera. The picture quality is awesome. I can record in 4K at 60 frames per second, 4 to 2, 10 bit, and I also have a Cinetone if I want to use it. Yeah, this camera is perfect. Now I'm gonna eat my sandwich from Subway. So I got two sandwiches. Um, they are the chicken tikka sandwiches and I also got a Coke Zero it's healthy day today for me so I'm gonna eat healthy and then I start doing the deliveries on my Radar right Plus looks like delivery wise it's going well so far Woo! not a bad day so far in 5 hours I made 65 pounds and yesterday I took the day off but the day before yesterday that was Monday I did 5 hours and I made 80 pounds I don't know if I should just call it a night but yeah it is starting to get very very cold so right now I'm wearing all these jackets I go one two three basically wearing three jackets it is still August it should be warmer but yeah let's talk about the Sony A7C2 again so that camera is as I have said is good but in my opinion is not as good as the Sony A6700 what was that I just heard like a very strange noise okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly let's turn off the bike and let's have a look at that noise let's see what it was I definitely heard something over here I don't know where it is gone I cannot see anything Oh, 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 
Whoa, whoa, almost fell off. Woo. That was close. Time is now 12.28. Um, I'm gonna get going home. If I get a delivery, then I'll do it, but yeah. Um, I'm happy with 65 pounds. Um, oh, that noise again. Okay, yeah, I better get going now. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Today I started doing my deliveries very, very late. I started at 11 o'clock. The time is 10 minutes past 11. And so far, I have received four delivery requests, but I have only accepted one because three of them had age restricted items. But yeah, this fourth one, I accepted this delivery. Uh, the pickup is going to be from near Golden City, from that restaurant over there. Near Golden City. I'm doing the deliveries on my Prada Renault Plus. I started here in Eltham. And who knows where I'll end up? <laughs> First delivery of the day complete and I am now in Catford. Time is now 20 to 12. It's a Thursday evening and I'm thinking whether to go closer to the McDonald's in Catford or just to wait here next to that pizza Roma. I'm going to wait for a few minutes, see if I can get any deliveries from here. If not, then I'll move to the McDonald's in Catford. After a 15 minute wait, I finally got another delivery request on the delivery app. The pickup is going to be from this place over here. Golden Chicken. Another delivery complete. And I am now in Grove Park. So, so far in hour and a half, I made approximately 10 pounds and that, that is not bad at all. Let's just double check to make sure that I've got it right and yet, well, well actually 11 pounds. 11 pounds in hour and a half. I have now come to this McDonald's in Belgrade to do a double pickup on the Uber Eats app. Yeah, let's do that. I am now in Forest Hill. And so far I have made 27 pounds in three hours. The weather forecast says that it's gonna start raining very soon. I brought an extra waterproof jacket, so it should be all right. The only thing is that my shoes will get soaked. If it doesn't rain too much, then you should be fine. This is going to be my dinner. The time is now 24 and it is very, very quiet. So I have decided to get myself a meal from McDonald's and then I'll go back online. I got this double cheeseburger, Coke Zero and chips with no salt. So I finished eating my food and I'm back online but there's no deliveries whatsoever. Mm, if I had a motorbike, I would get lots of deliveries. But because I got an e-bike, I'm not getting as many deliveries on the Uber Eats app. And delivery is closing in like 10 minutes. No, actually, 3 minutes. Delivery closes at 4 o'clock this area, so I go 3 more minutes. I don't think I'll get any deliveries on the delivery app now. So now I just have to wait for the Uber Eats app. No deliveries whatsoever. So I am still waiting here in Belgrade 
close to the McDonald's and yeah delivery is now closed until 7 o'clock so now I only go Uber Eats no deliveries so let's think what to do now this is going to be very very boring so today I started at 11 o'clock I took a 15 minute break in between so that doesn't even count uh, the time is now 4 o'clock or what the time is now 18 minutes past 4 uh, but let's just say so I took like a 15 minute break so 11 till 4 that's 5 hours so far in 5 hours I made 31 pounds and that that is not good at all <laughs> but yeah just gonna stay online over here just wait for deliveries see if I can get delivery in the meantime I could actually go and have a look what's over there that's a bit strange I'm gonna lock my bike first and then I'll have a look over there because there is like some sort of canal or river or something over there so let's see over there let's go my phone here I'm using my phone's light Yeah. Looks like there is water here. I've heard a noise over there. Something just jumped in the water. I have got no clue what it could be. Oh, 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 oh. oh my word! Oof. I didn't see that piece of wood in the middle. Very, very strange. But yeah, uh, delivery wise, there's nothing going on. And let's have a look over here. Ain't gonna lie, this looks really cool. I could have come here to eat my McDonald's meal. I don't want to go too far from a bike because if I get delivery, then I'm gonna have to run. Let's see this water over here. There's water. Oh! That was close. I was looking at the water and I almost fell off. Okay. Oh well. Oh crap. I just felt... Uh oh. It looks like it's starting to rain now. I definitely have to run and get my... my hat. My helmet, hat. I don't know. I don't want to get soaked now. Looks like it's gonna start raining now. Yeah, this looks like proper rain. I'm gonna have to be quick now. Okay. So there's my bike. I go a nice waterproof jacket over here, just in case if I need to wear it. Let's talk about the Sony A7C2. So the Sony A7C2 is a very good camera, but so is the Sony A6700, the one I'm using right now. <laughs> and if I had to choose one between the Sony A6700 and the Sony A7C2, I would choose the Sony A6700. And the reason is because I always record in 4K at 60 frames per second. 
and on the Sony A6700, you get 6K oversampling, whereas on the Sony A7C2, I think that you only get like a 4K oversampling, for, for some 4 point something oversampling. You do get a 7K oversampling if you're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. But, as I have said, I never record in 4K at 30 frames per second. I just don't think that it looks good. I prefer when I'm recording in 4K at 60 frames per second because the image quality is much better. Also, as I have said before, I prefer when the background is not blurred too much. But yeah, just waiting for more deliveries now. It is 4.39 and yeah, I have done a few special magic tricks the last few days and yeah, I'm gonna upload them very soon. Today is the following day now. I was not able to finish the video yesterday because it started raining and I also had an emergency. <laughs> so yeah, but anyways, um, so yesterday I worked from 11 o'clock till quarter past six in the morning. I uh, took 15 minute break, so I worked approximately seven hours and I made 42 pounds. So approximately 22 pounds on the Uber Eats app and 20 pounds on the delivery app. Of course, uh, delivery closes at four o'clock. So, but yeah, it was a rather quiet day. So late nights is not that good actually. And today the same. Um, so today I started at half past five. Today it's um, Friday evening. I started at half past five in the evening. And between half past five and half past ten, like five hours, I made approximately 70 pounds. And yeah, it was busy, it was good. After that, after half past ten, it got very quiet. So I was hardly getting any deliveries after that. In my opinion, the best hours are from 11 o'clock till 11 o'clock. So 11 o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock at night. Then 12 hours are the best hours to do deliveries. I am still online on the Uber Eats app and I'm gonna go offline now because yeah, it's just gonna be a waste of time waiting now for deliveries. So yeah, more deliveries tomorrow.